Yo, what's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning back in here to another episode here on the Speedbug channel. Yeah, y'all know it's been a minute here since I had a video out, but I'm going to make another one. Y'all can see it right behind me. We are introducing the ZR1 to the channel here. Now, this is a new car to me. I have posted on Instagram. If y'all don't follow me, make sure you follow me on Instagram if y'all want to get the up-to-date news and the bee's knees of what Speedbug is doing. I tend to kind of stay on there a little bit more. I don't do YouTube as much as I used to, but I'm trying to get back to it a little bit, but no promise. Anyways, long story short, here is my 2010 ZR1. Now, you may want to ask, why is it that I decided to buy this when I already have two other Corvettes? Well, because it's a dream car of mine to have. And I have my dream car, which is right here. I have my Trans Am, and I have my dream car. Now, don't get me wrong. I like the C7 because I like technology and the advancements and shit like that. But, however, the ZR1 has just always been, you know, a, the most gangster car, the most gangster Corvette to me, you know. And as much as I love the automatics, the 8s and the 10-speeds, y'all heard me ranting and raving about, you know, the 10-speed, you know, in the in the ZL1 and stuff like that. I just love this ZR1. Now, I'll go ahead and show you guys the inside. This thing is pretty much immaculate. I am a second owner, first owner for an old couple. They ended up selling it and parting ways with it. Uh, his wife had a Grand Sport. Uh, they were in their late 70s, early 80s, and they both sold both their vets, I believe, to buy a Urus, uh, solely and only because they just really couldn't get in and out of them anymore. So I'll go ahead and give you a quick little tour view of the ZR1. You know, a couple wrinkles, you know, in the old shitty GM seats, but as always. But everything is uh, pretty much factory on the inside. All the mats placed, you know, everything's pretty much done exactly how it needs to be. Y'all know the car is most of carbon fiber. Everything is looking pretty good everywhere else. As far as for the mods are and stuff like this, no, I am not going to completely destroy this car. I'm not going to do any of that. I'm going to perk it up just a little bit. Um, it already has perked up. It's got a Lingen Filter 710 package on it, but I'm going to give it up a little bit more. You know, I'm going to throw some, uh, throw a nice set of headers on it. Might leave the factory exhaust not 100% sure just yet uh, with the stock mufflers. Y'all know I'm a big Corsa guy, but uh, not 100% sure yet what I'm going to do on that one. Uh, so I'm going to throw some pairs on it, you know, definitely pull it up again. Uh, it's still stock blow. I'm not going to port it. I'm not going to send it out, do any stuff like that. And uh, that's pretty much it. Just up the boost and, you know, throw a set of injectors in it, you know. Uh, I just ordered a set, some uh, 1050s. Keep my duty cycle around 50%. And uh, we'll see exactly, you know, what that puts down. So I believe right now it ended up putting down about 600 wheel. So we'll probably be in the neighborhood of 650, maybe 700 tops wheel which is good enough because the car is absolutely just so light. So uh, it took me a long time to find this car. It is my holy grail dream Corvette to have. And I have my dream Corvette and my dream Trans Am right here. Now, don't get me wrong, Snow White, the Z06, the ZL1, that's awesome. I love those cars too, but these are my holy grail cars. Uh, it's just something about this car um, that I've just always really loved just loved everything pretty much about it, and that's what we're going to do. So I uh, just wanted to introduce you guys to this car, show it on the channel. We'll definitely take it out, do some racing, do a little bit, stuff like that. I'll try and film a little bit more of it. I don't really drive it much, kind of like the Trans Am. I just don't really want nothing to happen to it. But uh, <clears throat> that is my uh, 2010 ZR1. And uh, thanks for tuning in, guys, and I'll show you some more videos and some more mods and stuff as it's, uh, as it's coming through. Peace out.